Welcome to Get Sleepy, where we listen, we relax, and we get sleepy. I'm your host, Thomas. Thanks for listening. Arif is back to read to us tonight. Earlier this year, we took a stroll down a small town American Main Street with Katie as she enjoyed the first warm day of spring. Well, tonight, we'll return to Katie's charming neighborhood and join her for a snowy evening of holiday festivities and shopping. As part of our supporters drive this month, our premium members will be able to hear both the first and second story from Main Street as a long-length, stitched episode this Friday. Now then, let's prepare to begin our story. Take a moment to get comfortable. Do your best to let go of any concerns from the day. And instead, try to picture a favorite holiday or festive memory that makes you feel happy within. Whether it happened indoors or out, let that memory fill you with warmth. It may have been a walk through your local town looking at all the lights on display. It may have been a family gathering where you were surrounded by the smiling faces of those you love. Or perhaps it could be a gift you exchanged with someone who means a lot to you. It can be anything you want. Just hold that memory in the forefront of your mind for the next few moments, reminiscing about the way you felt and the happiness it brings within. Hold on to it as we begin our peaceful journey into a good night's sleep. Begin to picture a pretty winter's day. Light flakes of snow fill the sky and shower down to soften the world that is Katie's hometown. This is where our story begins. Peeking through the cheerful curtains of her front window, Katie got the feeling she was inside a snow globe. Impossibly large flakes were drifting lazily from the sky. As they gracefully descended, they formed a delicate carpet of white that transformed the entire street. Small cottages with peaked roofs became gingerbread houses, their blue, white, and yellow fronts visible under iced shingles. The pumpkin Katie still had sitting on the front steps was now wearing a white hat. A red cardinal soared past her window and perched on the neighbor's fence, as if to officially complete the festive scene. It was the perfect evening to walk into town and watch the holiday parade. 
feeling a small glimmer of excitement, Katie reflected how the first snowfall was just as magical for her as an adult as it had been when she was a child. Walking across the wide planked antique floors of her cozy little house, she regarded her coat stand thoughtfully. It was just cold enough to snow, but fortunately, not so cold as to prevent some outdoor holiday fun. She took her bright red wool coat from its hook and slipped it on, smiling at the silky feel of the lining inside. Then she chose a warm, fuzzy hat and a matching scarf. She knew she'd be glad to have those after a few minutes of walking in the snow toward Main Street. Lastly, she pulled on her favorite knit gloves. Turning and observing her reflection in the mirror, all bundled up, she laughed and nodded at herself approvingly. The last thing she did before leaving the house was grab her well-worn messenger bag. She had a feeling she'd be picking up some holiday gifts while she was in town. All the stores were staying open late today to celebrate the holiday parade and welcome the merrymakers who would flood Main Street. She pulled the strap of the bag over one shoulder so it hung comfortably in the back. At the moment, it was empty. She hoped that would not be the case in a little while. She stepped out the front door and closed it securely behind her, enjoying the satisfying click of the key in the lock. Then she turned and surveyed the street. She waved cheerfully to her neighbor, who was fetching his mail from the box at the bottom of his driveway. He reached into the metal mailbox and pulled out several rectangular pieces. They were red and forest green with gold seals. It looked like some holiday cards had arrived. Setting out down the street, Katie couldn't keep from smiling at the wonderland around her. It was her favorite kind of snowfall, accumulating gently and quickly. The snow had only been falling for an hour or so, but it was already creating a beautiful silence. The neighboring streets seemed to retreat away from Katie as she walked, and she became meditatively focused on the light crunching of her leather boots on the sidewalk. As if she truly were inside a little snow globe, the world seemed to have shrunk to encompass just this place. It was very soothing. Making her way down the street, Katie enjoyed seeing each and every house. Here in the historic district of her town, the homes tended to be a hundred years old or more. 
with the enchanting holiday mood reflected everywhere. She was able to pretend she had traveled through time. It was as if she had arrived at a December in a bygone era. The silence was so pervasive that it was easy to imagine there were no cars around. There were only sleeping homes, sheltering their inhabitants lovingly from the outside world. She found this idea very comforting. The old trees in their yards had been lavishly strung with twinkling white lights that reached into the heavens. Old-fashioned sleds stood near some of the front doors, their antique red rails worn and laced with fresh evergreen boughs. Best of all, Many windows revealed majestic Christmas trees inside, draped in all manner of finery. Some of the largest homes had more than one tree, with a different evergreen in each of the largest windows of the house. One house she passed had a beautiful menorah in the window, Katie thought about all the work that went into such abundant decorations and thought the residents must truly love the holiday season. It wasn't long before Katie was nearing Main Street. She was reluctant to turn away from the brightly decorated homes but the promise of the festive shopping and the parade enticed her. She emerged from a side street to find a perfect holiday scene stretching ahead. All the street lamps had illuminated, nudged into an early twilight by the combination of the short days of December and the overcast skies. Katie was more delighted, however, to see how the entire length of the business district was sparkling with lights and strung with greenery and ribbons. Great care had been taken to dress each and every lamp post. To add to the decorations, the store owners had framed their front windows with miniature lights of their own. These starry borders framed creative holiday-themed window displays that beckoned holiday shoppers inside. There was no traffic on the road It had been blocked off for the upcoming parade. Here and there, people strolled across the street, pointing with excitement at various storefronts. Bells rang out up and down the road as people gladly made their way into shops and then back out of them again. In many cases, the people leaving were carrying bags and smartly wrapped packages. As Katie turned to head down the nearest sidewalk, she passed a man who was sitting on a bench with two young children, one of whom was holding the leash of a spunky little dog. Each child had a huge peppermint lollipop, and 
their father was trying to keep them from spreading the delightful stickiness all over their coats. The pup, on the other hand, waited impatiently with its stubby tail madly wagging. He seemed to feel that lollipops were also for doggies. A stunningly beautiful window display drew Katie's attention from the dogs. She was passing a spot that was often used as a seasonal pop-up shop, featuring whatever wares were typical for a given month. This summer, someone had been serving gelato there. For December, it had been taken over by a jaw-dropping collection of stunning glass ornaments. A sparse wooden tree spread its branches outward, dangling what seemed like fifty ornate glass bulbs. Each one fantastically adorned with a different hand-painted design. Many of them were laced with silver and gold paint that glittered majestically in the light from the street lamp. Katie was enchanted, unable to decide which one she liked best. She promised herself she would stop here again on her way home. She thought she might buy one, but she didn't want to risk carrying such precious cargo around town during the parade. Katie watched her own reflection pass in the window as she walked onward. The lights from the street hovered like orbs behind her. Proceeding to the end of the block, she passed a restaurant where a few diners were enjoying an early dinner before the parade. They sat cozily inside the window, having lively conversations, their coats draped over the backs of their chairs. Behind them, deep in the restaurant, candles flickered gently on each table. On the corner, Katie stopped to look at the lovely things in the window of the local fabric store. In keeping with the season, the mannequins were modeling skirts made from a variety of soft flannels, all of which were available inside. Nearby, several aprons were hanging, all made from fabrics with cheerful seasonal patterns. Comical gingerbread men tumbled across one, while candy canes haphazardly decorated another. They were perfect for any cook hosting a holiday gathering, Katie thought. Moving along, she was filled with delicious anticipation. Katie was nearing the bookstore which was one of her favorite stops in any season. The windows were full of new releases and time-honored favorites in both paperback and hardback. Pushing her way into the shop, she felt its warmth and the heady scent of the books envelop her 
It was busy this evening. Patrons strolled around every display, chatting together about different titles and browsing through racks of beautiful handmade cards. The tall wooden bookcases that lined the walls from floor to ceiling were strung with greenery at the top. The room had a stately yet comfortable feel. Katie turned her attention to a nearby collection of children's holiday titles. Gorgeous picture books were stacked on top of each other, and some were also featured on bookstands. Many of them were titles she treasured from her own childhood. Others appeared to be new publications, promising fresh holiday traditions for a whole new generation. She almost wished she could be whisked back to that time in her life so she could experience the wonder again. Gently paging through one of the volumes, she gazed admiringly at the beautiful art inside. Books were such a treasure, she thought. In fact, she knew just the child who would love this one. She closed the book decisively and took it to the cashier. By the time she left the store, the book was safely inside her messenger bag, waiting to be delivered to its lucky new owner at a future holiday gathering. Feeling a sense of satisfaction, Katie exited the store invigorated by the brisk evening air. The snow had tapered off, but the magical winter atmosphere remained, with a fluffy dusting of snow coating every available outdoor surface. Looking across the street, she spied the bakery. The parade would be starting soon. What better way to enjoy it than with a cup of hot cocoa in hand? Katie crossed the street, happily looking forward to her hot chocolate. She could see that business was in full swing inside the windows of the bakery. Some patrons occupied tables with a view of the road. Others were pointing at delicacies in the bakery case or waiting in line for warm drinks. Stepping inside, Katie was surrounded by the delicious smells of warm bread, chocolate, cinnamon, and coffee. She closed her eyes and breathed deeply. It was the perfect combination for a chilly evening. Patiently waiting her turn, Katie scanned the bakery case. It was full of cupcakes with sparkly whipped frosting elaborately iced cookies, and small cakes. A woman stood in front of the cookies with a young boy in a hat with ear flaps. He was pointing at a large one that was shaped like a snowman. His mother agreed to buy it for him, and the woman behind the counter retrieved it 
and slipped it into a paper bag. She handed it over the counter to him. When her turn came, Katie ordered a hot chocolate with whipped cream. On impulse, she added an iced cookie shaped like a star. The cashier delivered her warm cup and her cookie to her across the register and they parted ways with a smile. Katie decided to sit inside for a moment to eat her cookie. She claimed a small table by the window and settled in. Shrugging her coat off her shoulders and removing her hat and scarf. Leaning against the soft padding at her back, she stretched her legs out before her and took a small bite of it. The cookie was cakey and crumbly, and the icing was the perfect sweet compliment. She savored every bit, tasting all the crunchy sprinkles that dusted the top. In between bites of cookie, she took small sips of hot chocolate. The drink was made with proper cocoa and delivered just the right amount of bitterness to make the sugar cookie taste even better. She felt truly decadent. When the cookie was all gone, she dusted off her hands and cleared her table carefully. Reclaiming her wool coat from the back of her chair, she bundled herself up in it, putting her hat and scarf back on as well. Taking the rest of her hot chocolate, she left the cocoon of warmth in the bakery and stepped out into the snowy night. The temperature had dropped slightly, and the white surfaces all around her were sparkling like sugar. It was clear that the parade was going to begin soon. The revelers on the sidewalks had begun to gather in small groups facing the street, anticipating the show that was to come. Katie stepped into an available spot a few storefronts away from the bakery and waited, warming her nose with the steam from her cardboard cup. A man stood next to her with a big, friendly dog. It was happily sporting a canine Christmas sweater and a pair of antlers. Katie smiled into her scarf. The dog was sitting politely, but its hind quarters were wagging with excitement. In moments, a murmur arose from the crowd and some music could be heard echoing down the street. Peering around the other merrymakers, Katie could see an old-fashioned pickup truck approaching. It was draped with colorful lights and a huge snowman sculpture sat in the truck bed. Several people dressed as elves were sitting on the back of the truck behind the snowman. They were waving at all the bystanders and gently tossing small bags of candy to nearby children who called out their thanks. Next up was a full replica of Santa's sleigh 
complete with reindeer. It was being pulled on a trailer. A person dressed as Santa was laughing and saying, Ho, 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 and waving to everyone on the side of the street. Children raised their bags of candy and cheered back. A few adults hoisted up the smallest children so they could see better. The high school marching band followed, cheerfully playing an upbeat seasonal tune. As a humorous touch, they were all wearing funny holiday sweaters and hats with big pom-poms on them. Katie found herself tapping her toes and bobbing in time to the music. She was impressed by how the young musicians managed to keep the melody going while interacting with the crowd. The local agricultural club was behind them. Teenagers wearing festive clothing rode in the backs of trucks with piles of late squash and pumpkins. Some adorable and well-behaved goats were along for the trip, peering over the sides. Bringing up the rear, one girl rode a beautiful brown horse that stepped merrily down the road. Not to be left out, the local dance school had brought a holiday ballet right to the street. Dancers in tutus, mouse costumes, and nutcracker outfits were making their way down the road. They were throwing handfuls of wrapped candy canes and striking poses. A car drove in front of them, playing music for their dance. The adults on the sidelines clapped wildly, offering their encouragement for the impressive pageantry. A few of the youngest dancers brought up the rear, holding the hands of their teachers. The classic car club stylishly completed the parade Beautifully restored vehicles from many different eras slowly moved down the street, decked out in ribbons, wreaths, and lights. Katie was enchanted by how beautiful they were. For just a moment, she could believe again that she had stepped back in time. The owners of the cars sat proudly in the front seats as they puttered along, many dressed in vintage clothing as well. As the vintage cars passed, the crowd closed in behind them and began to follow the end of the parade to the public park. A dramatic tree lighting was scheduled as the big conclusion to the evening. Everyone in town had seen the tree being raised and decorated for the entire week. Now the mayor would have the honor of illuminating the lights, which would shine for the entire holiday season. Katie followed the tide of good-natured people. As they walked, she passed a cart where a woman was selling roasted chestnuts. They smelled amazing. Other people appeared to agree, and many of them stopped to get a warm packet 
to take to the tree lighting. Katie was still full from eating her iced cookie, but she gladly inhaled the lovely, nutty fragrance of holidays past. In the park, more festivities were in full swing. The high school booster club was manning a table selling hot cider and baked goods. Meanwhile, a trio of women dressed in Victorian costumes were caroling near the tree. Their voices rang sweetly through the darkness, blending perfectly in arrangements of old-fashioned carols. Katie hummed appreciatively under her breath, somehow remembering every note. She marveled at the fact that her mind could store such small details over the years. She even knew the words to most of them. While she was waiting for the ceremony to begin, Katie noticed a skating rink had been set up across the park in a field normally used for soccer games. Several children were gliding around it, circling the perimeter at varying speeds in the moonlight. One especially talented skater moved to the center and started spinning, her arms uplifted. Katie was filled with awe at the sight of this enchanting dance on the ice. And then the big moment arrived. The mayor gave a short speech, thanking various community members who had made the festival possible. Then, as the crowd breathlessly waited, she plugged the lights in. Instantly, the enormous tree sparkled with a thousand winking lights. Like faraway stars, they twinkled, peeking even more from the innermost reaches of the tree. Katie's eyes followed its majestic reach straight to the top, where it was capped off with a glittering silver star. Without even realizing it, Katie clapped her hands together in delight. It was the perfect conclusion to the big parade. After a few breathless moments, the people in the crowd turned to each other to chat, with groups of revelers breaking off bit by bit and drifting in different directions. The big event had concluded, but Katie still had time for a lovely stroll back down Main Street. Heading in the direction from which she had come, she passed under the marquee of the historical theater. It was glowing cheerfully into the night, advertising one of her favorite classic films. She was pleased and made herself an earnest promise that she would find time to come see the movie that week. Next to the theater, a lone violinist played a carol for people passing by. The strains of the music floated languidly into the evening air. Katie gladly dropped some money in his tip jar and wished him a happy holiday. Without ceasing his music, he smiled his thanks. 
The foot traffic on the street was thinning out a bit now, as parents of small children took their happy charges home for a bath and a bedtime story. There were still a fair number of holiday shoppers about, however, and the storefronts gleamed with a warm welcome, beckoning patrons inside. Katie was beginning to feel pleasantly tired herself, but she wanted to make one last stop. She had to get another look at that pop-up store with the exquisite glass ornaments. Wandering down the street in a leisurely fashion, she gazed at each display as she passed. Every merchant had pulled out the stops. In these quaint holiday scenes, angels seemed to hover effortlessly. Artificial snow glistened in convincing drifts. Toy soldiers stood smartly at attention. Each creative window display seemed better than the last. There was so much to see that she was almost surprised when she realized her feet had carried her back to her starting point at the ornament store. She pushed her way gingerly inside, feeling as if even the door must be handled gently. The shop was small, but as she stood in the center, She had the sense she was floating in a sea of sparkling bubbles. A few display stands and trees encircled the compact area. Spaced carefully apart, each ornament appeared to hover in the air, reflecting the light from the ceiling and magically rendering it twice as luminous. Katie took small steps, peering at one ornament after the other. This one was covered in stars, that one in holly and berries. The next ornament was laced with a shining gold brocade motif. Another looked like a blue and white china pattern. Katie didn't know how much time passed, but she found herself transfixed by the baubles around here and examined them all in turn. Finally, after much consideration, she chose one that was elegantly dusted with silver stars. She knew just the friend who would love it. The shopkeeper gladly retrieved the ornament for her and carefully boxed it up, patting the delicate orb gently with tissue paper. After ringing Katie up, she handed the box to her with a smile, urging her to come and visit again. Katie thanked her and held the box carefully. Then she broke free from the powerful spell of the ornament vendor, emerging into the night. Katie stood for a moment on the sidewalk, not wanting the evening to end. Shoppers still wandered the sidewalks, but their numbers were dwindling. The pedestrian walkway down the middle of the street was now sparsely populated. The lights that draped the trees shone on, though. It seemed as if this was just the end of a theater performance 
and they were in place for the next one. A smattering of cold tingles on Katie's nose broke her reverie. Looking up, she realized that the snow had started falling again. She could see it drifting slowly across the pools of light from the street lamps, falling slightly sideways as it came down. She inhaled deeply, sensing that familiar chilly freshness that is in the air at the outset of a snowstorm. It was a good time to head home. Turning down a nearby side street, she followed her usual path back into the neighborhood where the homes waited graciously lighting her way. Now that darkness had properly fallen, the light designs were even more spectacular. As she passed each living room window along the way, she caught little glimpses of happy people inside. When she had almost reached home, she stopped to look at a white, long-haired cat who was sitting on the front steps of a neighbor's house. The cat regarded her regally, as if it had been waiting for her arrival. With its pure white coat and proud demeanor, it seemed to embody the spirit of winter. After human and cat had stared at each other for about 30 seconds, the wintry feline slowly got up and sauntered into the dark recesses of the porch, disappearing into a cat door. Katie suspected there was a warm bed waiting inside. In fact, she was really looking forward to tucking herself in. Katie gladly climbed the steps to her front door and went inside. As she hung her things on the coat tree to dry, she looked out the window. The snow was falling quite heavily now. Her entire street would be a winter wonderland in the morning. Later, after a cup of tea, Katie found herself sinking gladly into the softness of her bed. Filled with a sense of well-being, she pulled her soft comforter up around her chin and rested her cheek lightly on her crisp white sheets. She turned off her bedside lamp, extinguishing the golden pool of light that had filled her room. What remained was the ethereal glow of the night outside where moonlight reflected on snow. Closing her heavy eyes, Katie ran through the happy images of the evening. Snowflakes mixed with twinkling white lights, red ribbons framed richly decorated shop windows. The strains of choral music drifted through her mind. And in the center of it all, a lone skater spun freely in the moonlight. With the flakes coming down like feathers around her, she turned and turned and turned. And then Katie was fast.